This is the Human Epidermal Growth Factor, or EGF for short, and today we'll be explaining the signal transduction pathway. Looking at the cell membrane, we have a transmembrane receptor called the Epidermal Growth Factor Receptor. At this site, we have a ligand named the Epidermal Growth Factor, or EGF. The EGF attaches to the EGF receptor, and the presence of the signal molecule is what will ultimately trigger the cell to respond with cell growth and division. Once the EGF is bonded to the EGF receptor, we see the actions of a tyrosine kinase type of receptor here. This means that there are kinase proteins that have the ability to phosphorylate other proteins and activate them in this pathway. Binding of the EGF triggers the receptor due to phosphorylation, bringing upon other proteins. In this case, the first type of interaction here would be with a protein known as GRB2. Once GRB2 interacts with the epidermal growth factor receptor, it will activate a protein known as SOS. These are the very first cell signaling molecule proteins that are activated at the very beginning of this pathway. Once SOS is activated, the SOS protein will activate a protein named RAS. RAS usually bonds with GDP because RAS is a G protein. Once RAS has been activated by SOS, GTP becomes GDP and GDP goes away. At this moment, RAS has bonded with GTP instead of GDP. Once the RAS is bonded with the GTP, the RAS is activated and activates another protein called RAF. Once RAF is activated, it will activate another protein named MEC. Finally, MEC will activate another protein called MAP kinase. Now you can clearly see the cell signaling cascade with the human epidermal growth factor as kinase proteins phosphorylate others and activate one protein after another. With the activation of MAPK, the signal is triggered and transferred to another molecule that's a transcription factor. We will be using the transcription factor CREB as an example. Once it's activated, it finally enters the cell nucleus activating the gene responsible for cell growth and division. And that is our signal transduction pathway.